Just wait a second. Hey folks, how are we going? Christian's out and about. I've got him out there mowing the lawns for us. <laughs> he's got his fur coat. He looks like a donkey, doesn't he? I love him. Now he's just come here to say that he's hungry and he's going to take me over there. Look at him, he's going there. No, we're not going to go there yet. His trough's over there for a feed. He's just going to have to wait because we're going to go check out the veggies. Come along. Let's have a look at this, folks. This is where we're doing our trial between plant to plug and a punnet of seedlings. Now, what I mean by plant to pl plug is that we actually are supplying seedlings in individual cells, one at a time, that is. So you don't have to buy a punnet with 10 lettuces if you only want one or two. You can hand uh, select which one you want and they're grown in, in their own individual cells, similar to what I showed you where I sowed my tomato seeds the other day. And on this garden bed here, or in this garden bed here, I, I've planted the plant to plug range of a couple of lettuces. As you can see, I've got the green and red lettuce growing in here and I've got a lot of seed from the last season germinating, which I'll scratch through later on. If you're trying to work out what that orange stuff is, that's our certified organic snail bait. It is one of the best, if not the best snail bait in the market that you can get. Safe for family pets uh, and wildlife as well. So I've had this down now for about four or five days of snail bait because I did come out and notice snails in the evening. You're not going to see them in the daytime. You're lucky if you do, but you'll find them in the evening. They love lettuce, they love silver beet, and they'll sit all over it and destroy it. And you can see these are super clean, nothing to be attacking them, and this is what we want. Now, by comparison, Remember this, I planted these at the same time as I planted these ones over here. I had my grow tunnel on, I've taken it off so I can just show you what it looks like underneath. The plastic's just over there, just to show you that I've got it there. I've just packed it up so it's a lot easier. These were tiny, tiny little seedlings that shouldn't have been transplanted. And those ones over there were also tiny and they had been eaten. They're the ones that got attacked and that inspired me to get the snail bait out. So, if you're looking to grow seedlings, or even just buy a punnet of seedlings. Always look for the biggest and strongest and healthiest. That's obviously what we all do. But by comparison to a planter plug, which is an individual plant in its own cell to grow its strong root system, it's chalk and cheese. It's day and night, basically. Much quicker. And I have to say this, the temperature here is about four or five degrees colder on, in, on average, but the winds howl 10 times faster and harder than it does in Melbourne, Metro Melbourne. That's where we are, folks, if you're wondering where I am. Well, I'm not there now. I'm in the, in the regions here outside um, southwest Victoria. It's nine degrees at the moment. It's got a chill factor of about 80%, it's, and it's going to get cold again tonight. Even if it sits down around six or seven degrees at night, it's not an ambient sort of temperature. It has got a real high chill factor. So what I'm saying there is these plants, even though they, they love the winter, they don't love that real heavy, cold, frosty night. And these plants have not been hit by frost. Even though they're weak um, as a seedling when I first planted them, they've tolerated it. And that's because of the black grid. It does make a big difference in protecting your plants against bad weather. But as far as growth rate is concerned, some have taken off there. These are struggling because they were small. We had the, the igloo over the top. But, mate, I, I can't, I, look, we don't have a full range of seedlings yet. We're gonna bring out tomatoes too. And I'm sorry, folks, because we can't ship them out. I know a lot of people ask, when are you gonna start sending them into state? We can't at the moment, it's just too delicate to travel. Um, we're trying to work that out, but in the meantime, it's only click and collect, available at the Coburg Centre. So Victoria, if you're traveling, or even if you're interstate and you're visiting Victoria, pop down and check out the plug, or the plant and plugs. That's what they are. Same time planting, we're nearly ready to harvest. I actually planted a few weeks later than what I did here, and that because the temperature and the microclimate's a lot warmer there, a lot more stable, those seedlings have gone nuts. They've actually grown tremendously well. Um, six weeks in the ground and they've already 10 times their own size from the original planting. That's what I reckon. So uh, if you've got a nice warm garden, I guarantee you your plant and plug seedlings will just outdo any other punnet of seedling you find. And that's no disrespect to the, the growers of the seedling growers. We still have punnets in the store, but I really have a fallen in love of taking a big liking to plant and plug seedlings. And folks, now if you want to grow the best seedlings and have the best results out of all the seedlings you've ever grown, you've got to get yourself the plant and plugs. Come down to Coburg, that's where they are. I don't think anybody else is doing it at the moment. We're the only ones with single individual cell seedlings growing where you can hand pick the one you want to take home and, know, and, and nurture to good health. And you're not going to need to do a lot. Have a look at these. In the worst conditions of, uh, of Victoria, I can tell you that, it's blowy vale out here and they are doing tremendously well. So Coburg's got them all there. We've got a huge range. You can check out the range online 
around what we've got there. Um, it's not a click and collect at the moment, but you can pop down to the garden centre and hand select your favourites. That is the only way you really are going to succeed with a... <laughs> what are you doing to me, matey? You're going to succeed. He's leading right on me. You're very warm down there. Get away. <laughs> You're going to succeed with an, an amazing growth rate in your seedlings. It's all about the size of the plant, obviously, and the strong root system that it has. And being an individual cell, they're not going to be tangled up with all the other seedlings in the same punnet. To buy seedlings in the punnet with the same size as these plant and plugs, there is no way you can separate them. They'll be root knotted and tangled up really bad. So you'll have to shake them around. And it's the disturbance that sets them back a little bit as well. So plant and plug available at Coburg, 21 to 25 Monroe Street. Check it all out. Go to our website, azulisgarden.com, everything you need for a wonderful garden. From Eva Silly, Maresi.